Hi everybody, on this video, we will be discussing about the conducting system of the heart. Welcome to Dr. Ashik's Conceptuals. Let's discuss the topic. You know that heart is a muscular organ and every muscles need signals to contract and heart is contracting continuously. So from where this continuous signal for the contraction of the heart is coming? The answer for our question is conducting system of the heart and let's discuss what all are the parts of it. So the conducting system of the heart is also known as the nodal system because it constitutes of a specialized tissue that is known as nodal tissue. Actually the nodal tissue is a type of cardiac muscle itself and it will be embedded within the cardiac musculature and let's see which all are the parts of this nodal tissue and how it will be causing the contraction of that heart there. So the first part of the nodal tissue which will be coming in the right upper part of the right atrium and this part it is known as the sinoatrial node. The first part is coming in the right upper part of the right atrium and this is known as the sinoatrial node or in short it is known as the SA node. The second part of the nodal system it is situated near to the atrioventricular septa and in our previous video regarding the structure of the heart we have discussed what is atrioventricular septa. It is a septum it is a wall which is separating the atria and ventricle and the our second part of the nodal system it is situated just close to the atrioventricular septa in the right atria in the floor of the light atria that is known as the atrioventricular node. The second part here that is known as the atrioventricular node in short it is known as the AV node. So what happened? The signal which is originating in the sinoatrial node, it will be spreading through the atrial wall and it will be reaching the atrioventricular node here. And this pathway that is present between the two nodes that is known as the internodal pathway. This pathway between the two nodes it is known as internodal pathway. I already discussed the word inter means in between, internodal means in, in between the two nodes. So what happened to these signals which is reaching the atrioventricular node? These signals are going to spread into that ventricle through a thick bundle of fibers. This bundle will be passing through the interventricular septa and this bun thick bundle of fibers together it is known as the bundle of His. And what happened to the bundle of His? The bundle of His initially it will be dividing into left and right bundle. And each of the left and right bundle will be giving to minute minute smaller branches all through that ventricular musculature very very small branches it will be filling the ventricular musculature and the smallest branches of the bundle of his they are known as the Purkin J fibers. So the SA node, the internodal pathway, AV node, bundle of his and Purkin J fiber are the parts of the conducting system of the heart and let's see how it will be working. So before that I will be showing you a summary of this thing we have discussed till now. This figure is the skeletal figure of the conducting system of the heart and it will be having the SA node here. We already discussed what is SA node and from the SA node the second node it is present in the lower part of the right atrium that is known as the AV node and the pathway in between the SA node and AV node is known as the internodal pathway. The AV node continues down as a thick bundle of fibers which is present in the interventricular septum that is known as the bundle of His and the minute fibers which is arising from the left and right divisions of the bundle of His it is known as the Purkin J fibers. So all these parts together constitute the conducting system of the heart. Let's see how the conducting system of the heart works and how it will be causing the automatic working of the heart. Actually, you know that any signal, any nervous signal which is generating, it needs an external stimulus. But this system, the conducting system, every part of this conducting system is having an ability to generate the signals automatically. We will be calling it as an ability of automaticity. So these parts are able to produce the signals from its own. But the problem is that every part will be having its own rates of signal production and for example I will be mentioning 2-3 parts that sinoatrial node, the SA node is having an ability to produce signal at a rate of 60 to 100 per minute. At the time the atrioventricular node is having the ability of production of signal only at the rate of 40 to 60 per minute and your Purkin J fibers will be having that ability of production of signal only at the rate of 20 to 40 at minute. So that your sinoatrial node is the one which will be producing the signal at the maximum rate and the heart will be working at that rate of sinoatrial node. So that the sinoatrial node is otherwise known as the pacemaker of the heart. So 
in some humans that pacemaker of the heart that means the sinoatrial node will be having some kind of disease what will happen the sinoatrial node will be unable to produce the signal at this rate that is 60 to 100 so what will happen the other parts of that conducting system like atrioventricular node or Purkinje fibers will take up the action of the pacemaker so what is the effect the heart will not be beating at the rate of 60 to 100 which is normal to a human and the heart will be beating a much lower rate like 40 to 60 or 20 to 40 that so what will happen to that person the person's body will not get sufficient blood so what will be the problem of this person the person will be having the deficiency of the circulatory system throughout his body so how can we correct the problem of that pacemaker of the heart that is a sinoatrial node how can we correct so that that comes the role of the artificial pacemaker so that i will show you how the artificial pacemaker works in a human heart so you have to understand that the artificial pacemaker is installed at the time of that dysfunction of the sinoatrial node and artificial pacemaker is nothing but a metallic object which which will be having the ability to produce that electric signals at a frequent intervals and we will be placing the artificial pacemaker just below our skin and the pacemakers leads that uh, the electrodes will be placing at the place of the sinoatrial node in the heart here so what this pacemaker will be doing the pacemaker will be like the normal sinoatrial node the pacemaker will be producing that electric signals at a frequent intervals like in a rate of 60 to 100 and that signals will be spreading through these electrodes into the heart which will be placed there so that the heart will be starting to contract due to this uh, signal which is be produced by the artificial pacemaker so this winds up the session of the conducting system of the heart if you are having any suggestions or queries regarding these topics please be feel free to comment below in the comment box and don't forget to subscribe my channel